Hey guys, how's it going? Ricardo, nice to see you again, Ingrid. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, how's work today, man? Everything good? Uh, yes. That's good. All right. Good to hear that. What about you, Ingrid? How's work? Hi. Good night. How are you? I'm sorry. What were you going to say? Uh, I see. I just um, I want to apologize because yesterday I I came uh, here uh, in the class because I have a lot of work yesterday. Um, sorry. Oh, that's okay. You were not able to be here in the class because you were working. All right, that's okay. Anyway, so what about today? Uh, <clears throat> so how was work today? <clears throat> how's work today? So that's uh, asking for me. Question for me. Yes, um, I was asking both of you, but it's okay. Yeah, so how was how was your work today? So what do you, what do you, what do you do, Ricardo? What do you do exactly? I am a auxiliary logistic. I am I made the the documents for for a, I don't know how to call the the limited in the country the, the two countries between. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, um, you um, told me that, you know, know that before. In the border. Uh, no. How do you call it uh, frontera in English? The border? Border. Yes. So I prepared the documents for, uh, for the order, border answer. Okay. Oh, that's, that's great, man. That's great. You know that that's that's really really cool. You know that. But it's a little difficult. Yes. Oh, really? Why? Why? Why do you think it's difficult? Because it's not exactly a journal for job uh, for working. Oh, really? Yes, it's possible that you can. You need to work in the night or in the. Early morning. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. All right. So, so you don't have you <clears throat> you don't have a fixed schedule. Do yeah. You, do you have a fixed schedule? Mm -hmm. Sorry, una, una, I didn't fixed start. schedule is un horario fijo. So, do you have no. one? You don't. No. Oh, okay. All right. so that's that's that's. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> well, that's great. Maria Belen, how are you, Maria Belen? How was your day today? Hi, how are you? I am great. How about you? How's everything? Fine, fine, because today I worked in my home. <laughs> oh, you worked from home? Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Do you prefer working from home? Um, depends because I love to go out and visit my customer. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, oh, so you have to you have to visit people. That's yes, yes. All right. Okay. All right. That's very nice. Anyways, so what happened to the rest? Everybody says that they're working and they're studying. All right, anyway, so guys, uh, welcome back, guys. We're going to start right now. Okay, so today, guys, today's topic is very interesting because it's something we usually get confused with, okay? Um, we're going to talk about adjectives, but there is a special case with adjectives, okay? All right, so that's what we're going to be looking into today, guys. Now, um... Before we start, guys, remember that we need to have finished 
section number one, two, and the midterm, right? So we're gonna go over that as well. I'd like to start with that, okay? So, um, do you have any issues, guys, with uh, section one and two? I mean, I mean, section two and the midterm? Is there anything you need help with? Section two or the midterm, guys? Is there anything yeah. you need help with? No, right now. Uh, I was working yesterday. Okay. Um, um, have you finished the midterm? I mean, I don't get the midterm. No, the, the last yet. one. I the number the two. Exercise. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm talking about section two and the midterm. So, tenés la sección dos, que ya debería estar terminada, y tenés el midterm. Si no, hoy pueden terminar la sección dos, no se preocupen. But the midterm, okay, I need you to finish the midterm before tomorrow. Antes de que empecemos la clase mañana, necesito que te hayan terminado el, el midterm, right? So I can help you on Thursday with the midterm, okay? Así les puedo ayudar yo con el midterm el, el, el jueves, all right? But it needs to be finished. Um, also, um, uh, we're gonna talk about section, well, we're starting section three uh, today, all right? So, um, so one and two needs to be finished, okay? Um, who has finished section two then? Not the midterm, right, but section two. Have you finished section two? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right. If you so so that's what I'm asking, right? If you have issues with section two, let me know as well. Okay. Uh, I need you guys to finish section two. Okay. As soon as possible. All right. That needs to be finished already. Uh, para esta semana la sección de dos ya debería estar concluida. Okay. All right. So that's what I'm saying. Giovanni, welcome back. Rodrigo, nice to see you. Rafael, welcome back. All right, guys. So. Um, out the presentation here. So guys, uh, tell me, what are adjectives for you? Who can tell me guys what an adjective is? Words can describe the subjects Okay, all right, we're good. It's a word that describes the subject, okay? All right, all right. That, that is actually accurate, okay? A word that describes the subject, all right, very good. Um, today we're gonna go over, guys, the explanation of adjectives, participles, and ad as adjectives, and we're gonna have a very fun practice, okay? However, guys, I wanna know, okay, so, so Ricardo, all right, said that it's a word that describes the subject. To understand, guys, adjectives, all right, I'm not gonna go over all adjectives, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown on what an adjective is. By the way, guys, do we know what rundown is? Summary, okay. When somebody says, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown, le voy a dar un, una, un summary rápido, okay. A rundown, guys, is a summary, okay. Anyways, guys, so we have parts of speech, okay, in English, all right. Usually, guys, okay, if I say um, I like delicious apples, okay? So over here, guys, where, where do we have the subject? Where's the subject here? I. Apples. Apples. No, the subject. The subject I. is in this case. I, okay? I. Right? So this is the subject, okay? Subject, okay? Now the subject, guys, can be either one, one or two things, okay? It could be a noun or it could be a pronoun, okay? All right. So, what type of subject is this? Noun or pronoun? Pronoun. Pronoun. All right. It's a pronoun. Okay. Pronoun. It is a pronoun. Okay. Like. What is like here? What is like? Verb. All right. A this verb. Is the, the, the main verb. A right? verb. And now, okay. So this is a verb. Okay. We know that that's a verb. All right. What type of verb is it? Because we have many types of verbs. Okay. This is an action verb, right? Okay. This is a, this is working as an action verb. Okay. Very good. So we got a, we got, we got, um, we got the subject. We got a verb. Okay. Now, before we we talk about delicious, okay, let's talk about apples. Okay, apples. Noun or pronoun? First noun. Okay. It is a noun, right? 
but this is an object, guys, okay? It's an object. Mm -hmm. An object is the same as a subject, except that it, it doesn't go at the beginning, and it is not the performer of the action. It's whatever or whoever receives the action, okay? So an, ob an object can either be a noun, right? Or a pronoun, okay? Now, why is it important to understand if it is a noun or pronoun here? Or, or, or what? Because this is a noun, guys, okay? So we have a pronoun here, and we get a noun here, okay? Now, delicious, all right? Every time, guys, that you have a word that if you that you don't know, hey, I don't know if this is an adjective, I don't know if this is an adverb, I don't know if this is a pronoun, I don't know if this is a noun, I don't know if this is a conjunction, I don't know if, all right, we have a lot of parts of speech, right? So if you don't know, guys, what is delicious talking about? What is this word talking about? That is what you have to ask yourself, okay? Ask yourself, what is that word talking about? Or you can say, what is that word modifying, okay? ¿Qué es, ¿De qué está hablando esa palabra? ¿De qué está, qué está modificando esa palabra? Okay? All right? So, when you say, look, guys, I like apples, si vos solo dices, I like apples, right? That's a happy couple, right? Una, una pareja feliz, right? But then you have la usurpadora, right? Which is delicious, right? What is la usurpadora doing here, right? What is the super doing here, right? ¿Qué hace, right? ¿Qué hace la palabra delicious aquí? ¿De quién está hablando la usurpadora? Who is... Um, so, so what is delicious modifying here? What is delicious modifying here, guys? Talking about um, the object. The object. All right, very good. It is modifying, guys, the object, which is a noun, right? Right? So, <clears throat> delicious, guys, is modifying apples. If it, guys, if, okay, and write this down, guys. Write it down, okay? All right? If a word modifies a noun or a pronoun, all right, it is an adjective, okay? Okay, si la palabra modifica a un nombre, a un pronombre, es un adjetivo, okay? Now, we have a lot of different adjectives, okay? We have, we have, uh, we have uh, descriptive adjectives, we have demonstrative adjectives, we have quantitative adjectives, Okay, we have different types of adjectives, okay? All right, we're going to talk about one specific <clears throat> type of adjective today. Vamos a hablar hoy acerca de un tipo de adjetivo específico, okay? Porque tenemos muchos adjetivos, okay? Delicious, okay? All right, delicious, guys, is an adjective, okay? ¿Qué adjetivo es? Es un adjetivo, adjective, it's a, it's a, it's a descriptive adjective, okay? Es un adjetivo descriptivo, porque describe, lo usamos para describir, right? Adjective, okay? All right, anyways, okay? So, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on the definition on what an adjective is, all right? So, les quería dar un, una pequeña um, summary de lo que es un adjective, okay? All right, understand, guys, it's whatever word modifies a noun and a pronoun. What is it, guys? What is the definition of an adjective? It's yeah, a word a that pronoun. modifies a noun or a pronoun. Very good, okay. Do me a favor, somebody take a screenshot, okay? Porque voy a borrar eso, because I'm going to erase this, okay? So somebody please take a screenshot. Okay. Done? All right, send it yeah. to the group if you want, right? Thank you, all right. So, here's another example, okay? I have four cars. Very good. So, let me ask you something. Do I have an adjective here? Tengo un adjetivo aquí, sí o no? Ooh. Yeah, you get it. It's yes, yes. four. Raise your hand, raise your hand if you say yes. Levanta tu mano. Digital? Sí, pensé que sí. Yes, no? No, nobody says yes? Let me ask you again, guys, okay? Do we have an adjective here, yes or no? No. No? No, no. No. All right. Are you sure? If you guys are wrong, okay, all right. If you guys are right, I will buy you a pizza. If you guys are wrong, you're going to have to bring the pizza to me, okay? 
right. okay you get, you get an adjective quantity quantity adjective that's the four yes we have guys we have an adjective good job applause for rodrigo right thank you rodrigo okay good job yeah applause guys come on right okay hey guys remember what is the definition of an, of an adjective what is the definition of an adjective guys modifies a uh, noun or pronoun very good let me ask you something what is this subject okay, it's a subject right what type of subject noun or pronoun pronoun okay so it's a pronoun right what is have main verb all right it's a verb right all right it's a stated verb by the way right but anyways uh now what is cars object it's the object what type of object object noun or pronoun noun noun okay now remember an adjective is whatever word modifies a noun or pronoun. What is for modifying? A noun. It modifies a noun. It's modifying car, see? Got it? If you want to prove this, you can say I have, can I say guys, instead of four, right? Let's pretend that we can erase four. Instead of four, can we say guys, can I say I have beautiful cars? Can I say this? I have beautiful cars? Yes. Yes. All right. So see, sí, incluso lo puedes sustituir con, una, con un adjetivo, con otro adjetivo, y todavía tiene sentido. ¿Por qué? Porque el 4 es un adjetivo también, porque está modificando el noun for cars. Got it? Got it. Does that make sense? Everybody? Yes. yes? Yes. All right. Very yes. good, guys. Okay, so. All right. Um, if I say, guys, um, you know, if I say... She sings, let's talk about my, one of my, my, you know, my famous crush, right? Dua Lipa, all right? Dua Lipa sings beautifully, all right? Where's the adjective here? Donde está el adjetivo? Beautifully. <laughs> remember, guys? Beautifully. Re remember that I am, I am a bad person, right? I always trick you. Soy una persona mala. Siempre te voy a estar tricking you okay i don't know how to say that in spanish okay really do we have an adjective here you say that it's beautiful beautifully yes. right yes okay. um, do you agree guys for me it's not a, it's not beautiful is not an adjective mm, okay all right very good remember guys what is the definition of an, of an adjective again it's a it's an adverb very good okay so beautiful all right let's 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 okay so whoever said this is an adjective okay Let's let's play, all right? What is beautifully modifying? ¿Qué está modificando beautifully? The verb. Okay, quien me dijo que era un adjetivo, okay? Decime, ¿qué está modificando? Who, what is modifying? What is it modifying? I'm sorry. Beautiful. Beautifully, beautifully. What is it modifying? ¿Qué, de, qué, es, qué está modificando beautifully? Is it modifying Dua Lipa? Is it modifying things? What is it? Things. It's modifying things, okay? All right. Therefore, guys, beautifully is not an adjective. This is an adverb, okay? Because an adverb modifies an adverb, a verb, and, a, and an adjective, okay? All right. It modifica tres cosas, pero nunca un adverbio va a modificar el nombre o el pronombre. All right. Si no está modificando, si la palabra no está modificando el nombre o el, pron o, o el pronombre, el, 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 el sustantivo o el pronombre, right? The noun or the pronoun. It is an adverb, not an adjective. Got it? So this, guys, is not an adjective. It's modifying things, okay? The way how she sings. Got it? Yes? All right. Very good, guys. So is it 100% clear, guys? All right. Clear as vodka Petrov. Yes? TikTok. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right. Very good, guys. Okay. So now that we know what an adjective is, let's move on, okay? All right. So, uh, who would like to help me read the objective? Que me ayuda a leer el objetivo. Me, teacher. All right, let's go, Jenny. Thank you. By the end of the class, participants will comprehend how to use present participle and past participle as adjective. Very good, okay. Uh, repeat, uh, participants. Participant. Thank you. Okay. Very good. 
No, thanks to you. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. So we know what an adjective is, right? Adjectives are words that describe quantities or states of beings and nouns. Okay, of nouns. This is the word. Okay, describe nouns or pronouns. Okay. If I say enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast, they all describe. They they can all be used to describe a noun or a pronoun, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, if I say, guys, many, few, millions, eleven, right? Um, that's also, you know, a way of modifying nouns, okay? If I say, guys, I, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, right? If I say, if I say, guys, I have many, I have many what, guys? Finish the sentence. I have many what? Many computers. All right. So David says, right? I'm going to say he, right? He has, right? He says that he has many girls, okay? Very good. All right. So, all right. So David says he has many girls, right? Now, let me ask you something. What is, uh, what is girls and what is he? Pronoun. He is a subject, a pronoun, and girls is an object, a no, noun. Very good. Okay. Noun. You're, you are correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what is many modifying? Uh, the object, noun. Very noun. good. Okay. It's modifying uh -huh. girls. Okay. So, see, another adjective, right? Uh -huh. This is another example, guys. What is my point here, guys? My point is that. Just saying, oh, he's tall, he's handsome, she's beautiful, all right? Yes, those are adjectives. That, that is not the definition of an, of an adjective, okay? All right? We have a lot of different adjectives, okay? Basically, you know, a lot of things can work as adjectives. Un montón de cosas que ni siquiera, adjetivos que ni siquiera existen, guys. Ustedes se pueden inventar adjetivos, all right? All right? When you say, guys, in Spanish, um, matado de la risa, right? That whole phrase, matado la risa, it's an adjective, see? All right? Very good, guys. So, um, so now, participles as adjectives. This is the main topic for today, okay? So, first off, okay, let's define what participles, what the two different types of participles uh, we have are, okay? Past participle. What is a past participle, guys? We've seen this before. What is a past participle? Who can tell me, guys, what is a past participle? Past participle is a is an, an action started in the past, um, but a finish finish it uh, recently. Recently. Oh, recently. <clears throat> okay. No, sir, that is not the definition. No? But thank you. Okay. No. <laughs> What is, guys, I, I've explained this before, right? What is the past participle? Who can tell me? Yes, uh, I, guys. I remember that uh, you can use past participle verb. It's for describe uh, experience in the past, events, or that, other That is, that is present perfect. Okay. That is the, what you're saying, what you're talking about right now, that, that is present perfect. Okay. Very good. I'll tell you again, guys. We have three forms of verbs, okay? Tenemos tres formas de los verbos, yes? All right. What is the first form, guys? Present. Base form, present. right? Or the present, right? Very good. What is the second form? Past Simple time. past. Simple past, right? We have the past form, okay? And what is the third form? Past participle. Past participle, past participle guys. Okay, for example, right, if it is an irregular verb, right, what is the past, what is the present for, let's talk about fly, right, fly, what is the simple past? Flew. Flew, right, what is the past participle? Flew. Okay, like that. 
Is that correct? Flown? Or is it with O? What is it, guys? How do you spell it? Google it. How do you spell it? F L O W N. Okay, all right. Very good. Is that correct, guys? Flown with O? Guys, is that correct? Very good. Okay, that is correct. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, all right. If it is a regular verb, right? Then you say, right? Uh, what about um, kick? You got kicked, and you got kicked too, right? So past participle, guys, is the third form of the verb. What is it? Write it down, guys. What is the past participle? Third form. Yeah, third form of the verb. The third, the third <laughs> form of the verb, okay? So a past participle, guys, okay, can be an adjective, okay? Got it? So, so far, a past participle can be an adjective, right? Now, we have present participles. Present participles are easy to remember because a present participle, guys, is a verb in what form? I-N-G. A verb in I-N-G, guys, okay? Got it? Uh, singing, right? Is this a present participle? Yes or no? Yes, it is, right? Very good. All right. Uh, let's see. Giovanni, what is the difference between a past participle and a present participle? Uh, the past participle is the third, third, third form of the verb. And third the form. Third form. form. Third yes. form of form. the verb. Form. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And present participle, participle uh -huh. is when the verb is in ing form. Very good. Okay. The verb is in ing. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. Plus for Giovanni. Good job, Giovanni. Super good. All right. So we use past participles. All right. Rafael, help me read. What do we use past participle for? Past participles for? We use past participle to talk about how the people feel how okay how people feel guys okay raise that okay how people feel okay all right write it down in your notebook guys we use past participle adjectives okay all right adjectives okay to talk about people's feelings okay how people feel okay very good uh ricardo help me read uh the definition of present participles as adjectives Present participles, uh, we use present participles to describe what causes the feeling. Causes. Causes. No, not co, ca, just ca, causes. Causes. Causes, okay, very good. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the examples that we got here, all right? What does it say there, guys? Can you say? Bored. Bored. Boring. Yes. Bored, right? Okay. See, ed, guys. Notice, I want you to notice this, guys, okay? It says bored, ed. Got it? Interested, right? Interested. Ed, see? Interested. Got it? That's why they're called uh, past participle adjectives, because they are past participles, okay? Uh, what, what about this? Everybody repeat. Thrilled. Thrilled. Okay, thrilled. 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 Okay. thrilled. thrilled. Okay. Right. Now these are. What are these guys? Oh, uh, participles. Okay, these are past participles. Okay. Now, now remember, guys, these are verbs. Okay. Todos estos son verbos usualmente, guys. Okay. Pero estamos usando un verbo que lo estamos lo vamos a convertir en adjetivo. Got it? So that is the thing, okay? And a verb, guys, can have a past participle and can also can, and it can also have an ing form, which is called present participle, okay? Now, <clears throat> take a look at this, guys. If I say, if if I if I use the verb war and turn it into a present participle, what will I get? If I use the the verb bore and I turn it Boring. into 
present participle, okay, it will get boring. See? ing, boring, right? Uh, interest, right? What what present participle would I get? Interesting, right? Interesting. Interesting right? Thrilled, right? Three thrilling, okay? Got it? So these are present participles, right? All right. So take a look at this. Uh, let's read the first example that we got there. Uh, Maria Belen, tell me. I was thrilled when I received her birthday invitation. Very good. Okay. Let me ask you something, guys. Remember, this is people's feelings, right? Who was thrilled here or what was thrilled? Who was thrilled here? ¿Quién estaba emocionada? Or emocionado. Hi. Hi. Okay, very good. Now, take a look at this. The film was so boring that I fell asleep. Okay? What is boring referring to? ¿Qué está modificando boring aquí? What is boring referring to? A film. The film. film. Boring is modifying the film. Therefore, it's an adjective. Okay? All right. Now, let me give you another good example here. Can I say, guys, the film was boring? Uh, I mean, can I say the film was bored? The film was bored. Can I say this, guys? Can I say that the film was bored? No, it's, uh, the verb is ing. Okay, right. You say you say that it's ing. Okay. What do you think, uh, David? Can I say the film was bored? Let me give you a tip, guys, while you think about it. Never translate, guys, please. Because otherwise you're not going to understand this. All right. Uh, yes, yes, I'm sorry, Ingrid. You were, you were saying something. Yes, I say uh, it's not correct. Because it's, uh, it's about the, the feeling. It's, very good. Uh, okay. All right, very good. A plus for angry guys. Yes, okay. So, guys, the film, guys, is not a person who can feel feelings, okay? Cuando vos decís la película o el filme, ¿tiene sentimientos? Does it have feelings? Yes or no? No feelings, right? No. So we can assume, guys, that this is your ex, right? Es como tu ex, no feelings, right? All right? No, you cannot have feelings, guys. Okay? So, so listen. If it doesn't have feelings, okay, aside from being your ex, right? You're. It, it means that you're not. You cannot use uh, an ing adjective. Okay? No puedes usar un verbo en ing. Uh, un adjetivo en ing. Okay? You can't use the present participle. Okay? So, ED, guys, when you talk about ED adjectives, this refers to, all right, this can only be accomplished by not not only people, guys, because saying people is wrong, because we can we can say dogs. Do, do dogs have feelings? What do you think? Right? Can I say the dog, the dog was bored? Can I say this? Can I say this, guys? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, I can. Why? Why can I say the dog was bored? Because the, the dog is an animal that is a sensitive. Uh... Because, all right. Now, not because the dog has feelings or not, guys. Okay, it's because of the idea of the dog has feelings. Okay, because you can say, you know, that the robot is bored, right? If in your mind, guys, the, a robot can be bored then it is correct, okay? Si, si alguna vez desarrollamos robots, que si, o en tu mente un robot tiene sentimientos, then you can say bored, got it? Like, if you ever watch the, the movie Ch Chappie, have you ever watched Chappie? It's a movie yeah. about a robot, right? With feelings, okay? Yes. So you can say Chappie was bored, the robot was bored, right? Even though he, you know, they might not really have feelings, but the idea behind the noun is that they do have feelings, okay? So, so the, technically this is correct, okay? Now, there is another situation, okay? Can I can I say, guys, 
Um, can I say mailing, right? Mailing was boring. Or is boring, right? Can I say this, guys? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can I say mailing is bored? Can I say this? No. Was. Okay, guys. Okay. So whoever said no, guys. Guys, what is mailing? What is mailing? A person. Subject. It's a person, okay? Person. Right? It's a person with feelings, okay? Very good. Can I use ed adjectives? Can I use past participle adjectives, guys, with feelings? Yes or no? Yes, you can. Yes. So, yes. This is is this correct? Yes or no? Is no. this correct, guys? Yes. Why not? Why not? Okay, guys. Explain to me, Ingrid. Why not? Because it's present. No, no, no. Mean, it is correct. It's good. Yes. Guys, but, but you mentioned something very important, Ingrid. Okay. She, she said, guys, that that wasn't great because it's the present. Guys, this guys right here is not working as a verb. Okay. Not, not a verb. Okay. All right. This is an adjective, guys. Okay. Está trabajando como un adjetivo. Got it? Adjectives, guys, do not have a tense. Los adjetivos no se conjugan. O con, yeah, conjugan, right? They, they, you cannot conjugate them, okay? I was saying conjugan, but no. <laughs> no, they, you, you can't conjugate them, okay? All right? The so, adjective don't have a time. Yeah, exactly, okay? They don't have a tense. Tense, not time. Tense, okay? Tense. Tense, right? They do not have a tense, guys, okay? Because they are adjectives. They are not working as verbs. Verbs have tenses. Verbs can be conjugated. Adjectives cannot be conjugated, okay? So therefore, Ingrid, this is this is right because this is not a verb, okay? You can say mailing has been bored, mailing was bored, mailing is boring, or maybe, you know, you can use it in whatever tense you want, right? This will not change because this has nothing to do with the grammar tense, guys, okay? Re -re so I repeat, guys, this has nothing to do with the grammar tense. Nothing, okay? Okay? Because you can substitute this with another adjective. You can say mailing is uh, mailing is smart, right? You can say smart. You can say pretty. You can say boring, right? See? You can substitute it with other adjectives, right? So now, so my question again. Yes, we can, we can, we can use this. Mailing is bored, okay? Can we say mailing is boring? Yes or no? And why? Now that is the confusing part, isn't it? I think is that correct because now mailing uh, is boring. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So guys, yes, the answer is, thank you, uh, Maria Belen. Yes, the answer is that we can use it too. So, Ricardo, what is the difference between mailing is boring and mailing is bored? Uh, mailing is bored is, uh, is, is a feel, is a state of the feeling of mailing. Mm -hmm. And mailing is boring is a description about the personality of mailing. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. That, that is a perfect explanation. Good job. Also, Ricardo, guys. Well done. All right. Thanks. Yes, guys. Okay. You can also define it like this. Okay. I'm going to give you another example. Okay. But but that, that was a beautiful explanation. Okay. Uh, help me read this and then I'm going to explain it to you guys. Okay. First of all, take a look at the example that we got down here. Can somebody please help me read this? Can somebody please, guys, help me read this? Uh, me. The right. student is quite bored because the lesson is boring. Very good, okay. Bored. What is bored describing? What is bored describing, guys? A student. Right. Bored is describing the student. Very good. What is boring describing? The lesson. The lesson. The lesson, the lesson all right. Very good. The student. What is that? Noun, pronoun, subject. What is it? Noun. Subject. It's a noun, right? Very good. What is the lesson? 
I'll be just. It's also another noun, right? Uh -huh. Very good. What is bored? What is bored? Adjective. It's an adjective. Very good. Adjective. All right. What is boring? Adjective. adjective. It's an adjective. Okay. Can I say the lesson was bored? Yes or no, and why? Uh, not because the lesson uh, doesn't have feelings. Exactly right. Now, can I say the string the student is quite boring? Can I say this? Yes or no? Uh, yes. Yes, I can say that. Okay. The reason why I'll explain to you, Ricardo explained it well, guys. But for people, for if you didn't understand, all right, I'll I'll explain it as well. Okay. Now, um, let's see, Tatiana, help me read this part. Three guys, because we're running out of time. Um, some common adjectives are comfort from bears and have both ing and it forms. Very good, thank you, right? Adjectives, adjectives are formed, formed from verbs and have both ing and ed forms, okay? For example, guys, we use the ed form to describe our feelings, right? We know that, okay? Now, the ing form, guys, Things which make us feel like this, okay? So it's a description, right? A description of the work. Now there is something I wanted to, there is something guys, I wanted to show you here, okay? Which is this, okay? All right guys, so let's, let me give you an example, okay? Let's uh, pretend that you have a movie theater, right? So tenés un, un, estás en la, en la, en la, in the movie theater, right? You're at the cinema, right? Stay in the cinema, right? With uh, Corona Berto and friends, right? So you got you got multiple, you know what? This one we can do. So you got um, multiple seats here, you know? So there is Corona Berto, right? He's very excited about the movie, right? So. Uh, well, I cannot copy and paste, whatever, right? So you got, uh, you got many people here, okay? Right, you got. A lot of people here, right? Now, these people, guys, these are called the audience, okay? We're going to call them the audience, right? La audiencia, right? The audience, okay? So these people are the audience. Now, guys, and this is, uh, you know, this, this is the movie, okay? So we have the movie right here, okay? This is the movie, okay? So... Now guys, these two people are talking together, okay? Okay, these two guys are having a conversation, okay? All right? All right, whatever, right? So they're having a conversation, guys, okay? These two right here, okay? All right, Conver they, they're, they're talking, right? Okay, now guys, the movie, all right? Can I say, guys, all right, we know that we cannot say the movie was entertained, okay? We say the movie was, or the movie is, or whatever, guys. You can use the movie has been, whatever, guys, all right? Let's say the movie is, okay? The movie is entertained or entertaining, guys? Hey. Entertaining. Okay, entertaining, very good. All right, entertaining. We cannot say the movie is entertained because... You know, the movie doesn't have feelings, okay? Now, the movie, guys, all right, the movie has an audience, okay? So, who is the performance of the action? The performer of the action. The movie or the audience? ¿Quién está siendo el que performs the action? The audience. The movie, okay? The movie, yes. all right? So, that people, okay, the people are entertained or entertaining by the movie. Entertain. Entertain. Okay. Entertain. The, movie, Entertain. The, people, right? the people. If we oh. say the people and all people, guys, because we're referring to a specific group, okay? So the people are entertained, right? Entertained by the movie, right? So far, so good? The audience, okay? Let's say the audience. The audience is. By the way, you can say the audience are or the audience is, guys. Both are okay. All right, so you can say the audience, right? The audience is entertained by the movie, okay? So see, guys, this is the one performing. 
and the artist are, is the one receiving the action, okay? Tenés a quien hace la acción y a quien la recibe, okay? Quien hace la, la acción va a ser siempre ING. Whoever performs the action is going to be a present participle, okay? ING. I repeat, guys. Whoever performs the action or whatever performs the action needs a present participle, okay? Whatever or whoever performs the action needs an ing form okay or a present participle okay you can call it a present participle same thing all right so far so good okay now whoever or whatever right whatever or whoever receives all right escribe on us okay so you don't forget Whoever, whatever, receives the action will use a ed form, okay, or a past participle. Got it? So that is why, guys, because of this, okay, these two guys talking. Let's say that he, you know, th he is the performer of the action. Okay, we're gonna call him. Uh, what do we call him, guys? Oh, I know. Okay, let's call. Let's call him uh, Vodkaverto. Okay, all right. So Vodkaverto, guys. All right, is the performer of the action. So can I say Vodkaverto? So, so if it is the performer, guys, what can we say? Give me an adjective in I, in ing. Vodkaverto. He's singing. Now Vodkaverto is singing, but singing is not an adjective, guys. Singing is a verb in, a, in continuous form, okay? Cuando uh, está diciendo, is sad. Now, sad, yes, but I need, guys, an adjective in ing, right? Remember, you guys, not, not all verbs can be, that's another thing, guys. Not all verbs can be used as adjectives, okay? They have to be verbs that express some sort of feelings or characteristics, okay? Si vos decís cantando, no expresa ningún sentimiento ni característica. Tiene que ser un verbo que se pueda hacer que exprese eh, sentimiento o característica, okay? So you have to talk about a verb that can express either a feeling or a characteristic, okay? So remember, vocabulary is the performer of the action. What other, what, what adjective can we use, guys? What ing or ed adjective can we use? Enjoying. A vocabulary is enjoying. Now, enjoying is not, enjoying is not an adjective. Okay. Interesting. What? Interesting. Very good. What caberto is interesting, okay? What caberto is interesting, okay? We can say this, okay? Why is he, why do we use inter, why can I can I say interesting because he is the performer of the action, okay? So now let's talk about um he's talking to Pilsen Oberta, right? So now Pilsen Oberta, guys is the receiver of the action. So if I want to say, can I say interesting? Or or should I use something else? Is Senoberta is? Receiver of the action, guys. Is Senoberta is? Exciting. No, no, no. Let's, hey, what can to see Waiting. No, no, no. Exciting, is interested. interested. Interested, okay. Interested, guys, because she's receiving the action, okay? All right, all right, got it, guys. Person Oberta is interested because she is the receiver of the action. <clears throat> okay. All right. So notice, guys. Okay, we can describe feelings, and ing guys describes a situation, a thing, or a person that causes the feelings. Okay. This chair is relaxing. What is the? Is this a performer or, or the receiver of the action, guys? This chair is relaxing. It's the performer. performer. Receive. Performer. Receive the. Performer, guys. No. All right. Receive. Performer. Oh. No, the performer. Okay. okay. This is the performer, right? I am very relaxed now. Performer or receiver? Receiver. Receiver. Receiver of the action, right? Okay. Now, you can also, if you're confused, you can also do this. Characteristic or feeling, guys. This chair is relaxing. Characteristic or feeling. Characteristic. Characteristic, right? Very good. Uh, characteristic or feeling? 
Feeling. 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 Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. So that's a feeling. Okay. All right. Any questions right now, guys? All right. I, I would say that you do have a question, guys. I have an exercise here. We're going to play this tomorrow. Okay. All right. I have a game for you here, guys. Okay. This is very cool. But I, I, I do feel, guys, that you have, you're getting confused with something here. Okay. All right. Guys, remember, okay. So, what have we learned today? Uh, let's start with Ricardo. Tell me, Ricardo, what is the first thing that we learned today about uh, the class? Uh, adjective is a word that describes a uh, noun. Very good. Thank you, Ricardo. Okay, the first thing that we learned, guys, is what is an adjective, okay? All right, and then Ricardo, good answer, okay? Very good. What is the second thing that we learned today, Maria Belen? I think you were not here. Yes. Know. Oh, you were okay. Very good. What is the second thing that we learned today? Um, adjective, uh, maybe a feeling, describe a feeling. Very good. Okay. So we learned, guys, the difference between uh, uh, past participle adjectives, right? Or we call them ED, ED adjectives versus ing adjectives, right? Are we clear? So, si estuviste en la clase prestando atención hoy, guys, estas son las cosas que debiste haber aprendido hoy, okay? So, if you can answer this question, then you're good, all right? So, these are the two things that we learned today, guys, okay? And we also learned, guys, uh, so we learned, you know, these, these are the two things, okay? There's something else I want to show you, okay? What types of verbs can we use, okay? Respondamos esta pregunta, what types of verbs can we use, okay? The answer, guys, all right, you can only use verbs, all right? Now, remember, I'm talking about verbs, guys, because these are verbs that are transformed into adjectives, okay? Estos son verbos que son transformados en adjetivos, okay? All right? So, you can only use verbs, guys, that express, okay, feelings or characteristics, Okay, so a common mistake that I noticed here, guys, was you guys saying this, okay? If I say, guys, he is running, is that an adjective, running? No. 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 No, okay? These guys is working as a verb. You have to answer, guys, if you if you want to know if you're using this correctly or not, ask your yourself the first question. What is the first question that we have here? Oh, hold on, hold on, no, not that, guys. Okay, um, let's have another question here. Okay, on top of this, well, right next to this. Okay, what is the word modifying? Okay, okay. So when I say running, guys, what is it modifying something? He is running. No. <laughs> All right, no, guys, it's an action verb, okay? Es un, es un verbo que usted está expresando una acción, okay? No, ningún sentimiento, ninguna característica. Eso es una acción. Las acciones que no pueden ser adjetivos, okay? Got it? So, this is not, a, this is not an adjective, okay? Uh, what about, uh, what about, uh, he is amazing. Is this an adjective? Yes. Yes. yes, guys, see? All right, think about it. How can you express this with an action verb, right? Amazing, guys. If you say, oh, I'm going to amaze her, right? I'm going to amaze her, right? No significa amasar, guys, okay? Don't, all right, don't, okay? All right. La voy a sorprender, okay? No la voy a amasar, right? La voy a sorprender, right? Now, here, guys, is this an action verb? Vos puedes, con tu cuerpo, guys, puedes hacer una acción que represente a maze? Yes or no? No, right? No, okay? So these guys, right? Now, this is a verb. Is this a verb or is this an adjective here, guys? Here, is this a verb or an adjective? A maze? A verb. It's a verb, right? It's working as a verb, right? Because it's representing, you know, uh, it's representing an action, right? But I can say, right? Uh, she is amazed, right? Can I say this? She's amazed? 
Can I say this, yes, guys? You, yes, yes. Yes, okay, right. Yes. Is this an adjective? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. it is an adjective, okay? All right, very good. Can I say, guys, um, all right, uh, let's see. I don't know, uh, Cheyenne, Cheyenne is singing. Is this an adjective, Rafael? Singing. No. Why not? It's an action, uh, it's a verb. Okay, all right, very good. It's, it's working as a verb, right? The answer is working as a verb, guys. Okay, it's working as a continuous verb, right? So this is not an adjective because singing, guys, all right, it's an action, right? It's not, a, it's not a feeling or it's not a characteristic, okay? So David, all right, give me another example. All right, of an ing adjective. Um, guys, you can help Google, guys. You have Google, right? Google, ED, smart. Is smart. Now, guys, if you say smart, yes, that is an adjective. Okay, so what this is smart is an adjective, but it's not the, it's not what we're studying right now. That's another mistake, guys. If you say Cheyenne is, I don't know, Cheyenne is uh, awesome, right? Awesome, guys, is not a verb, okay? Awesome, guys, no es un verbo transformado en adjetivo. Solo estamos usando, guys, ver adjetivos que, es, que vienen de verbos. Ese es el propósito, okay? So if you say he's smart, ¿cuál es el, cuál es, este usa, es un adjetivo, correcto, right? Pero ¿qué verbo, de qué verbo viene smart? De ninguno, right? That is just an adjective, okay? So my question is, guys, give me an example you know what, everybody, before you leave, okay, send me one example, guys, okay? Google the examples if you want, all right? Annoyed. Annoyed. Beautiful. Okay? You can say annoyed. annoyed, okay? Annoyed, okay? Very good. Or you can say annoying, right? Very good. Because it comes from the verb annoy, right? If you say beautiful, guys, this is, this is, you can say she's beautiful, Chan is beautiful, right? But this doesn't come from a verb. No viene de un verbo. Quiero que me den adjetivos que vienen de un verbo, guys. Vayan a Google, Google it versus ing adjectives, okay, and give me examples, right? Everybody send me an example in the chat. Todo el mundo que me envía un, un ejemplo en el chat, por favor. And um, let's see, Herbert, give me another example. Uh, July. Mm -hmm. July. Yeah. Okay. No, the, the, or oh, Julio, Julio. Yeah, July. Uh-huh. Is. Is feeling. Is what? Feeling. Feeling. Yes. This is not an adjective. Chilling. Chilling. Oh, chilling, okay, chilling, very good. This is an adjective, good job, all right? July chilling, okay, it comes from the verb chill, right? This is a verb, right? And I'm gonna transform this, all right? By the way, chill, guys, can also be used as an adjective, as an adjective, okay? I'm gonna transform this verb, guys, into an adjective, right? July is chilling, see? Acabo de transformar el verbo, guys, en un adjetivo, okay? Very good. All right, send me your examples, guys. Everybody send me a sentence, okay? Todo hey, guys, necesito que me envíen sus ejemplos, si no, no vamos. All right, so let's go. Send me your examples, okay? Uh, confusing, very good, okay? Send me the sentence, guys. Envíeme toda una oración, no solo el adjetivo, right? So you can say, um, David is confusing, right? <laughs> All right, very good, All right? Charm, okay, charm is a verb, right? You can say, Giovanni, Giovanni is charming, see? Very good, All right? He was really tired, he was really tired. Good job. Maria is frightening, okay, good job. Ingrid is confused, good job, all right? Very good, guys, very good, okay? So tomorrow, guys, we're gonna play a game so we can practice what we learned today, okay? All right? So do me a favor, guys. All right, before you leave, guys, I have uh, I have two things to ask, okay? Tomorrow, please be early, okay? Please be early tomorrow, guys. Um, and secondly, guys, 
guys, it's urgent, but urgent, 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 guys, for you to finish section two and the midterm, okay? I'm going to say this in Spanish, guys. Urge, pero urge bastante, guys, que terminen la sección dos y que terminen el midterm, okay? Necesito que hagan eso porque el jueves yo les voy a dar con la sección dos y el midterm si tuvieran algún problema. Got it? No les puedo ayudar si no lo han hecho ustedes primero. Ok. Entonces, oiga, si pueden, por favor, terminen la sección 2. Ya vimos todos los temas de la sección 2. Eh, y terminen el, y hagan el midterm, hagan el examen. Ok. Got it? Yes. Yeah, got it. All right, guys. So now, um, did we learn something about the topic today, guys? Was it clear no. at the end? Fue claro al final? Yes. Yes. All right. yes. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.